Carissa? Well, thank you. It's International Boost Your Self-Esteem Month. We've been talking about our own self-esteem all morning. Let's shift from that and go on to building a child's self-esteem and boosting a teen's. Kendall Grayson is a professional counselor and a mother. Thank you so much for being here this morning. And let's focus on how to instill confidence in children to begin with. Of course, um, self-esteem issues typically crop up in teenagers, however, they often begin in childhood. So it's important as parents that we instill a strong base in our child of confidence so they can carry that with them into the teenage years. Some things that I would suggest for children to help um, boost that confidence is to give them ample opportunities to succeed at home and at school. So. Whether that's helping you with chores around the house or running an errand at school, just make sure that it's something that they can be successful at. Don't set them up for failure by giving them something that they cannot do for their age and their abilities. I would also suggest that you give them lots of positive praise versus negativity. I have been at several sporting events for children where the parent is sitting oh next my. to us <laughs> yelling at their we child. <laughs> Come on, let's go. What's wrong with you? Why can't you do this? Instead of saying, great job, you really tried your best. And so that child is going to go into their teenage years with a negative self-esteem and low confidence. So make sure you encourage them and give them positive praise. Okay. With that, I always encourage parents to use conscious discipline. Con Conscious discipline is a great behavioral modification tool that focuses on telling your child that they are good enough, that they're good enough for you, versus saying, what's wrong with you? Why can't you do better? So I would encourage that. Um, that's some tips that I would say for children that might help give them a good base of confidence and positive self-esteem. Now, do you find teenagers an even bigger challenge or not? Yes, I think sometimes they are because sometimes there's something from their childhood that is carried through to their teenage years mm -hmm. or if you've even given them that, that good base, sometimes other people who are influential in their lives can create a low self-esteem for them. So it's really important to look at uh, who's influential in their lives. If there's an adult that's influential in their life that is making them feel negative, you may need to have a conversation with that adult or if it's peers, that's another thing. It's so important to, um, to really guide your children, your teenagers, on what kinds of friends they surround themselves with. The people who are in their inner circle need to be kids who help them feel better about themselves and feel more positive, not kids who are going to tear them down. Right. And you advise some extracurricular activities as a, a good thing for a teen and boosting their self-confidence. Yes, yes, definitely. Um, just like with the kids, encourage them to be in something that they can succeed seed at, something that they're good at. Um, I also encourage parents to tell their kids to get involved in positive activities such as church youth groups or volunteering. Um, volunteering always makes you feel good and have positive self-worth. All right, well anything else that you would like to add in there for your tips with parents? I think it's really important too to watch their social medias, especially with teenagers. Oh, that's a good point. Teenagers, oh definitely. And then, you know, seek professional help if you need. Right. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning of so we course. can take a focus to the children and the teens and away from ourselves and hopefully some people got some good information from this and will use it and change their child's life. Valentine's Day is just days away and if you're still looking for that special someone after the break, we'll tell you why some say your sweetheart could be closer than you think. Plus,